Hi on MPI, brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit this week's latest new product is from Murata. Murata. Lady Ada, <clears throat> what is this week's Eye on MPI? Okay, this week's Eye on NPI is this really cool um, all-in-one module called the 1SJ um, from Murata. And uh, Murata is the packager. Um, and uh, what I thought was really neat about this is, is this is very, very tiny module that has everything you need to make a pretty advanced LoRaWAN powered project. It's not a, a router, it's like the end node. Um, but if you're you know, making a product or a project where you want to basically add you know, long range, multi-mile communications and you don't want to have to spend money on SIM cards and cellular and NB-IoT, um, and maybe you're outdoors so you don't want to use Wi-Fi, uh, LoRaWAN is a really good option. Um, LoRaWAN is free, um, you know, the licensing piece Fees are paid when you uh, purchase the modem, uh, unlike Sigfox where you often pay per message and NBIOT where again you, you buy the modem and then you have a SIM card um, and you pay per message or per month. Uh, so LoRaWAN is you know, ISM band. This is uh, in particular, this model is a 900 megahertz-ish uh, radio. Um, it's really tiny. I thought actually I would show it on the overhead first and then you know, we can talk about uh, what's in the module. Uh, so this is it, a really tiny little module. This is the eval board from uh, Murata. Um, and you can see how skinny this module is. I'm starting to see more RF modules like this, these little like epoxied uh, silver modules. Uh, it looks like it needs, you know, you know, a probably inductor for a uh, little built-in buck converter, a couple external capacitors and passives. But really, um, you know, no crystal or anything else. It goes straight into, uh, you know, an antenna port. You can uh, attach any kind of antenna onto it. Okay, sorry, so let's go back. Um, so uh, you know, this module uh, is made by Murata, and inside of it is um, a uh, SX1262, and that's the Semtech LoRa module. Um, this is the module that actually does the RF stuff. Um, you know, they, again, it, Semtech is the licensee for LoRa. Um, if you want to use Lauren Laura when you're pretty much going to be using Semtech chips. Uh, this is a, a recent chip that um, they've got driver code and I'll show you in a moment. Uh, you know, a lot of the code that we've used is I think for a slightly different chip. I think it's the SM1676. Uh, so this is a, I think a more modern one. Um, and it's connected over SPI. Uh, you see there with SPI reset, busy and antenna switch connected to a also built in STM32 L072 or 82. Uh, it's also got a crystal um, built in. So all you need to do is really provide power um, and you've got everything you need. And then the bottom pads have all the breakouts for the, as you see on the right, USB, UART, I squared C, SPI, ADC, GPIO, et cetera. Um, of course, you can buy um, the chip separately if you also check out the data sheet for the STM32 L082. Um, it's an STM 32L0 series. That's a Cortex M0. I think it has like 192K of flash and like 32K of RAM. It's a powerful chip, but it's also ultra low power. Um, you can really get this down into the you know couple micro micro amperes of current. Um, it also looks like there's a DC DC converter, so you know that sometimes helps cut the power even more, um, which makes sense because a lot of times you're going to want to use these for sensor nodes where you know you may be um, let's say you're you're making a um, uh, agricultural sensing element uh, it's out in the field it's measuring uh, humidity uh, pH of soil and temperature and it's sending it back to a base station a couple miles away um, you don't want to go around and have it to change the battery constantly ideally it runs off a little solar panel or a little battery um, and it runs for years on its own so you want to have an ultra low power microcontroller and the new STM32 L0s are, are great for that. Um, they're designed specifically for low power applications. Um, you get more details, of course, on the, uh, on the STM32 website. Um, and then the other half is the SX1262. This is the radio, communicates over SPI. Um, anyone who's done LoRa, LoRaWAN with uh, Python or Arduino is familiar with um, the SX series of chips. Um, this, these modules can also, sorry, this, this radio can also do like FSK. I think you probably can do ASK. You don't have to use LoRa, LoRaWAN. You can do 
um, you know, simple modulation as well. But chances are, if you're getting this, you're paying the extra couple bucks because you want to have uh, the LoRa licensing. Um, and then Semtech has a separate uh, data sheet, Jeff, data sheet uh, just for this chip. Um, so, you know, remember the Murata kind of took those two parts and kind of made a little lasagna out of them. Um, Murata isn't really, is, you know, they'll, they'll help you get it going, but really what you're dealing with is a module that has combined these two things that Murata is just very good at doing uh, the packaging for. Um, and the packaging is nice and small, as I showed you. It's a very small, thin, uh, pick-and-place, surface-mountable um, uh, module. What I like about these is compared to a tin module, like there's like no ingress. I'm not saying dunk it underwater, um, but you, you could pot this, you know, and, and not have to worry too much about um, moisture getting into the package. It's, it's a fully epo uh, you know, epoxied shape. And because it's low power, you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, heat dissipation either. Um, if you want to get started with the coating, I mean, the STM32 is a well-established chip. Uh, uh, Semtech has drivers available, um, you know, officially is on the embed uh, distribution page. But if you look, it's actually um, on GitHub. So you go to GitHub and this is a C driver, um, which you can then, you know, probably fairly easily port to something like Arduino or, you know, they have example code for um, STM32 cube. Uh, and such, but you know, I'm, I'm always interested in like, oh, can I do this with Arduino? And um, there is Arduino support. I mean, you could make this work with Arduino using, uh, you know, um, you know, an online, like people, I remember I, when I was looking for this chip, there's, uh, you know, STM32 Duino, and there's also a couple other um, community-based STM32L zero series um, board support packages. Like here's one I found for Rust. So. You want to make a LoRaWAN node that uses Rust? Go for it. All available. Um, right now, you can get the eval board. So that's what I showed off. Uh, it's you know a nice eval board. It's got everything you need. Um, on the bottom left there is the JTAG SWD debug button. You know, micro USB connected to the USB of the STM32, and it's got Arduino-ish headers uh, and then antenna. It, I mean, the the board is much bigger than it needs to be. You can see like the modules kind of floating in the middle there without a lot next to it. Um, I think this would, be, this would make a very cute feather, maybe. Um, maybe I'll design something like that. And available. Coming soon to DigiKey. On DigiKey soon. The eval board's available right now. Um, the modules are currently unavailable. They, we, we've tried very hard to only focus INPI on stuff that is either in stock or coming in soon. They're going to have these in stock in a couple months, but you can uh, check it out. Uh, Pre-order it, and um, you know, DigiKey can also probably help you get some samples if you only need like five pieces to get your design off the ground. Um, they'll work with Murata, and I've I've had done this before. I've been like, hey, can you just like get me a couple pieces? And the sales rep is like, yeah, I'll get you a few, just so you can get your design going, and then you can book a reel through DigiKey. Um, for the price, you know, you basically get like two, you know, seven dollar chips merged together, packaged. Um, for under 10 bucks a piece. Uh, it's, a, it's a great deal. You get a very powerful chip and a really good radio. LoRaWAN uh, compatibility and licensing already paid for. All you need is antenna, a couple passives, and like, it's tiny. It'll fit into like a, like a little Tic Tac box or something. Okay, and we're gonna play a little video and then right after that, we're gonna jump right into your products. There are times when we want to remind ourselves what we are capable of when we defy the status quo, we keep innovating and push limits. This is Yamori, a multi-stack LP WAN module equipped with Murata products and designed by Sentinum. Using Yamori's platform, we are going to show what LP WAN is capable of, even under the most extreme conditions. But how? We are taking Yamori to near space. Launch is imminent. Inside the payload, Yamori uses a wide range of sensors to capture the environmental conditions. Utilizing cutting-edge long-range communication and localization technology, Yamori transmits all the data it has collected back to Earth. The 
the signal is captured by our gateway and hundreds of other gateways around the world. The interface visualizes altitude, transmission range, location, and several other data in real time. After reaching an altitude of 40.2 kilometers, a parachute is activated and brings Yamari back down to Earth. Mission successful. On its 300 kilometer journey under extreme conditions, Yamari gathered and communicated various data and proved the capabilities of LP WAN technology. One thing we can say is, with Yumari, the possibilities are endless. Yeah.